Hello bunnies, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a Notion tour. This is something that has been requested for so long. Like I see comments about it here on my YouTube channel and on my TikTok. People are always just asking for a tour and I thought that I'd actually do it today. So if you're not aware, Notion is an all-in-one workplace where you can just organize everything that you need to do. The system is very modular so you can really customize it to whatever you need. And while you can make it look very like cute and aesthetic, it's not really necessary. Hopefully this helps anybody who is trying to make your Notion look anything like mine. So let's get started. So this is my Notion. It took me a really long time to kind of get everything to where I wanted it, but I'm really actually happy with how it looks right now. This is my homepage. So all of the images on my Notion are from Pinterest. I just made a board that had everything that I wanted in it so that it was like more cohesive. It was easier to tell what would look best together. So this image is from Pinterest and so is this GIF. And below here, I just have like little tabs to places that I tend to go often just because it's, it's more convenient to have them here than to like go over here to get them. And then I have a little set of random notes. Sometimes when I'm doing stuff in school, I just need to put down like little notes that don't really fit under these tabs. Then I have a daily slash to-do area where I have it split up between morning, after school, and afternoon, and then evening. Just because I feel like that's just what works best for me. Having like a daily list that's not organized just doesn't work well for me and it makes it hard for me to tell what's going on. So I just will put stuff in the checkboxes depending on what time of day that I need to do them. Then I have this basic weekly area where I just kind of keep ideas and things that are going to need to be done throughout the week. It's not usually a very comprehensive list, but it just gives me the basic structure of what my week is going to be like. But yeah, that's all I have for my main life page and we can move on. So I have all of these pages that I can use. It might seem like a lot, but I don't use all of these pages every single day. But the next most important one is my monthly one, which I actually haven't updated because it's April. But I will have like monthly goals, which I like suck at updating, and um, important dates. And then I have a monthly calendar, which for April I have like nothing in, but I had a little bit of stuff for last month. I don't really use the March one that much because I try to keep all of my school stuff off of this one and keep it under a different page, but it's important for like important dates and like family events, so that's why I have it. The next page is my school page. So after my life page, I think that this is actually one of the most important pages on my Notion because this is where I plan all of my school stuff. As an IB student, there's a lot of requirements that I have to keep track of. So here I have all these notebooks that hold like all of the classes that I've taken in the past couple of years. So I have my IB courses from this year and then I have stuff from previous years. And so I'll just keep notes and I'll keep like tips and like the syllabuses all in each of the notebooks. This calendar is actually a widget that I found online. I looked up a calendar widget and this is the one I found. This is a timer that I got that is super outdated and I really need to fix it because the end of the quarter happened literally over a month ago. But I think it's still cute. And I like to mix in like miniature images and like full-sized images and like gifts because I think it just adds more variety to the way that it looks. And then at the bottom I have a full view of a school calendar which helps me just keep track of everything that I need to do and like when we have days off, ends of quarters, exams, um, tutoring and meetings. So it's very important for me. I don't add every single little thing that we're doing, I just add the most important stuff. And I also don't include studying stuff here. So if it's like actually studying, it does not go on this page and it goes on a separate page. I know some people might find it weird that I separate studying from school work, but I just think it's easier to tell what I'm doing and it just helps keep me organized. So that leads us onto the next page, which is my study space page. This is the page where I keep all of my studying stuff. Um, 
and I just really want to make sure that it works well for me. So I have like a daily agenda and notes area. So as I'm getting ready to study, I make a list of everything that I'm working on. And I write notes about certain things. And then I have my embedded playlist here and a little gif of these rabbits. I also have a Pomodoro timer, but the theme is broken on it because it used to be like a different theme and I just can't change it back and it's kind of messing up the look of my notion, but um, I'm too lazy to get a different one. And to embed these things, you just have to like search up a Pomodoro timer or you can just embed a Spotify playlist and there's bunches of tutorials on how to like do that on YouTube, so I won't really go into it here. And then here is my study schedule. I only actually really schedule for studying around finals and like big exams. Otherwise, I just kind of do homework and I do practice as I feel like it's necessary. And to be honest, I kind of go overboard a lot of the time, so it's probably best that I don't micromanage my studying schedule. But that's it for my studying space. I try to keep it very minimal because it can be overwhelming to have so much going on when you're just trying to study. But I definitely recommend making one for yourself because it just helps to keep me organized. The next page is actually a page that I'm going to skip because it's my social media one. And I just don't want to give spoilers for any of the stuff that I'm working on. And it is a little chaotic to be honest. But yeah, I just I just have a page where I plan out like when I'm posting on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube and like how to work that out. The next page is called the creativity page. This is where I keep all of the stuff for my like coloring books planned out. I released a coloring book on Amazon back in February and I'm still working on my next one. But I just have some ideas down for what I'm going to release in the future and like a little bit of a structure of like what do I need to do. I don't really set deadlines for like creative things because it's really draining but I do have like all of my ideas down here. So this next page is actually my yearly goals page. I like to refresh it every year and I like update things whenever I kind of remember to because I haven't updated anything in like a month or two but I just have my goals some of these are like content related some of these are like university related or like learning um, or like this one is to join a club and I did that <laughs> but I just I just have certain things that I like decide are gonna be goals for the year and I just add them to this page I feel like my yearly goals page is one of the most basic ones though because it's just a database <laughs> but it, it is nice to have just so you can reference it throughout the year to see how much progress you're making. The next page is my plans for moving abroad. Even though I still have another year of secondary school, I'm really excited to be applying to international schools when I go off to university. I don't know if I've ever actually shared that on the channel, but it is something that I've wanted to do basically my whole life. And I'll probably go more into detail about it, maybe after I'm done with school, but yeah, I have like ideas on like savings and like what universities I want to apply to and what are their requirements. I just like to get all my research done now because it'll make my life a lot easier in the future. And then I have this mini wish list page. I like to have this because right around the holidays or around my birthday when people are like, what do you want? It's really hard to think of something in the moment. And so I'll make a wish list here of just things that I'm kind of interested in. Sometimes I'll remove things or add things, but I just I just like to collect certain things onto this list so that I can reference it later. And I love this GIF from Studio Ghibli. I just think it looks so pretty on this page and I'm glad that I picked it. And we're almost getting to the end. We've got a recipes idea page. I've been getting really into cooking recently because I'm going to be moving out in a couple of years. So I thought I might as well just get a hang of cooking the things that I actually really like to eat and learning how to prepare stuff for myself. So I have all recipes here and I just add an image with everything. There's a, quite a lot of recipes that I was just really interested in and I have them organized based on things that I've not made before which are here and you can just click a tab and I have like drinks and I have like actual food items but 
things that I've not made before, like on my own or just like personally. And then I have things that I have made before completely on my own. So these are things that I can feel more confident in. And then I have everything organized by meal as well. And some things like these show up multiple times because they're like a snack and a side. But I think that this will make um, moving out a lot easier for me for when I'm having to prepare my own meals more often because I'll have a bunch of ideas. Because even though it works well on Pinterest, because like all of these images are from Pinterest and the recipes, it's easier for me to just go to the database and organize everything more easily. And like I will have instructions for the recipes underneath and all the ingredients that I need so I can even just see what can I make with what I have. The second to last page is a video games list page. I feel like it was a little silly for me to make this because I don't actually play a lot of games but I have a list of games I could try that I found online but I just have the covers and then what genre they're in and it just it's cute to have a place for all the list of games that I have. And the final page is a shows and movies list. I've seen that a lot of people on the motion boards have a page like this and I was not really sure what to do because I was using um, Letterbox before, I think is the name of the app, to keep track of all of my ratings and what films and shows I'd watched. But I decided to just switch to it just because I thought it was better to have everything all in one place. While a lot of it is like anime and like K-dramas, there are other stuff that's not in this list. But overall, I really like having everything all in one place. It just makes it more convenient, especially because I can organize things by to watch, in progress, and watch. So I can really tell what I can continue to watch because I lose track of the shows I'm watching all the time. And I can get more ideas when I'm just going to sit down to watch something and I just have no clue what to watch. That's it for my Notion tour. I really hope you enjoyed. I really had to try out a new way of filming because I'm recording this all on my laptop so it probably looks like crap. But um, I didn't know exactly how to screen record and deal with like filming because usually I film on my phone. But I was like, I don't know if I want to film on my phone and then also like screen record and like deal with all that. So I just decided to try the feature that came with my Chromebook. But yeah, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed because I know this is very highly requested. And thank you for watching. Bye!